An army of volunteers has emerged to help international students studying in Tasmania. During the pandemic, not only have they been separated from family, but many are struggling financially. How are we today? Dr Rahul Patel runs a master's course in pharmaceutical science at the University of Tasmania that attracts a lot of international students. He's taken on a different role since the pandemic. Over a period of four weeks, uh, with the help of more than 100 volunteers, uh, we delivered, we cooked and delivered more than 3,200 meals to international students. Despite the university supporting students with their rent and groceries, many still found themselves losing out. I was meant to support my father, mother and my brother as well, but uh, yeah, there's nothing. After this pandemic, the Salamanca marketplace was completely shut down, so I lost my job. The COVID lockdown also brought other difficulties. It's the first time we're doing an online learning and I am on my last semester, so it was a bit of a challenge because I'm not seeing my professors, I'm not in the lab. The volunteers have been preparing food every day for a month. They've now dropped back to a delivery every fortnight. The women of Hobart's Indian Gujarati community cook a four-course vegetarian meal in the morning. I need to do something for the student. They are really need their help. And the men pack and deliver it in the evening. Supriya Kale is studying IT and has been living on her savings during the lockdown. I have you know, actually had that meal for like two days. So it was, I am really thankful for that. The student meal service will keep going for as long as it is needed. I say, shouldn't we be helping this part of the community who are really struggling? Uh, the response was uh, overwhelming. And for the happy clients, the proof is always in the pudding. Andy Cunningham, ABC News.